Hello guys, this is Richard Rich TV and welcome back to my channel. But if I start the devotion guys, we'd like to shout out the Palin Preserve channel na napunta rito at na-join na at nanood sa devotional. Shout out and God bless to Angelica Erbito, Stephanie Intes, Emily Toras, Bing Orivillo, Nathaniel Abilia, Jamaica Daing, Crystal Joy Balbrino, Mary Joy Lan Lagindin, Janine Mancio, Rica May Palma, Rolly Olio, Friends Shendog, Michaela Lazaro, Nico Sondrita, Jane Pador, Chris Cal Bakunawa, Johnson Magdasal, uh, Casey Arvina, Ruana Ticar, Monique Kilimor, Gitsel Mikilang, Lisel Gabiana, Honey Grace, Alia Bonani, Jerry Abok, Abby Gaiti, Heidi Leones, Karin Bakaron, Hart Ponsalan, Yan Stevie, Connie Blog, Mami Rose Crop, Michael Aburita, Jocelyn Custodio, SSCTV of Korea, Retro Blog, Liba Koteko, and even to Juan Anthony Balmoria. Shout out na rin sa mga hindi nakisabay na manood at makinig sa devotional, but still, nagpunta pa rin dito para manood at makinig sa devotional. God bless us all, guys. TV It's Friday again, and uh, of course, tomorrow, makarelax na naman tayo. But for the students still, I will not advise you to relax, relax muna kasi by Monday and Tuesday, periodical exam na natin sa public school. Kaya, uh, aral-aral muna tayo guys, no? Kailangan malaki talaga yung ano. That's what I'm praying for you guys na malaki talaga yung uh, marka ninyo, no? Even for your grades. So, your parents will also be happy. I guess it's not proceed to our devotion. Let's open the Bible to 1 Kings chapter 4 verses 20 to uh, 29. No? Okay ba? Okay. 1 Kings verses 20 to chapter 4 verses 20 to 29. This is about Solomon's daily provision. The people of Judah and Israel were numerous as the sand of the seashore. Wow, dami nila, no? They ate, they drank, and they were happy. And Solomon rolled over all the kingdom from the river to the land of the Palestines as far as the border of Egypt. These countries brought tribute and were Solomon's subject all his life. Solomon's daily provision were 30 cores and pine flour and 60, 60 cores of meals, 10 head stall feed cattle, 20 of pasture feed cattle, and 100 sheep and goat, as well as deer, gazelles, rubox, and choice fowls. For he rolled over all the kingdom west of the river from Timps, Timpsa to Gaza and at peace on all sides. During Solomon's time, Judah and Israel from Dan to Beersheba live in safety, each man under his own vine and fig tree. Solomon had 4,000 stalls for chariot horses and 12,000 horses. The district officer each in his month supplied provision for King Solomon and all who come to the king's table. They saw to it that nothing was lacking. They also brought to the proper place their quotas and barley and straw for the chariot horses and other horses. God gave Solomon wisdom and a very great insight and breadth of understanding as measureless as the sand on the seashore. Still guys, I'm using the Bible study Bible because the word is to simplify na maintenance talaga natin. Uh, guys, let's now pray. <clears throat> Father God, Solomon is really distinct, color God, and my word of honor siya talaga. That because of what he did is right, you have given him wisdom. Not only wisdom, but everything na 
Maski hindi niya kailangan, binigay mo Lord God. You have given him everything. The wealth, the power, and everything na Lord sana. <laughs> May ganun din kami, oh God. Yes, hypocrite ako, oh God. If I, I say I do not need anything, that's right, Lord. Like uh, David is as to have wisdom on what to do about it. So we will also prosper in many ways because on our own, Lord God, we have done our best. We are doing our best and still uh, doing our best. And we pray, oh God, that uh, may you also give us the best for us. Yes, Lord, give my students and even to those regular viewers here, nandito ngayon, the best for them. So they can also bless people around them the best as they can give yes Lord, keep it all this to you in your pray amen and amen i guess our focus words for this evening's found in first kings chapter 4 verse 23 and it says god gave solomon wisdom and very great insight and a breath of understanding as measureless as the sound as the sand of on the seashore oh grabe no grabe talaga Ma imagine the sun in the season napakadami kaya noon <laughs> pagkukuha ka lang ng, ng isang uh, ano uh, kung ko hindi uh, mo na bilang yun no yung sun na makukuha mo but that's how God is so bountiful for Solomon so the title of our devotion for this evening guys is using God's gift wisely while David's rule was marked by many wars the rule of Solomon was marked by peace and prosperity during this period, the population grew, as did the wealth of the country. The people were well fed too. More importantly, God gave Solomon wisdom and very great insight, Gabi, no? as well as plenty of understanding in verse 29. In fact, he was even wiser than several notable people. He spoke 3,000 proverbs wrote 1,005 songs, and spoke about creatures and plant life in verses 32 and 33. Moreover, his fame spread beyond Israel to the extent that people from other nations came to listen to his wisdom. Here we are reminded again that God's wisdom in abundance if we ask it from him. God gave Solomon the wisdom he requested because he wanted to rule the country. It is important to note that God gave Solomon wisdom because he asked with the right motive. God will not give anything to those who ask him for something with wrong motives in John 4.3. Solomon used his wisdom to serve the Lord and his people. Similarly, we should ask for something because we want to bless others amen and amen guys no uh gabi si solomon no because of his wisdom imagine ibang kings pumunta pa sa kanya para lang makinig sa wisdom niya so nagiging speaker din siya <laughs> that's all my forte no kaya uh, uh pagiging speaker no uh, invited always being a speaker kaya let's always ask god's wisdom no Particularly to you students na Monday, Tuesday ay ano na, exam na. So, we have to ask God's wisdom. Kung nga, nakihingi na akong ka, kay Lord na, Lord, sabi ko, give me wisdom how to do the, the questionnaire, uh, the test paper para sa inyo. Kaya, God bless us all. Hihingi tayo kay Lord ng wisdom na magagamit natin to bless other, not for ourselves only. Ako, I'm really asking something for God, not for myself only, but of course to my family, to the people around me, to my church, and to those who are in need also. Because my heart is really to help people. No? Alam niyo naman yan, mga sadyante ko, no? na hanggat maaari, <clears throat> uh, hindi ko kinukumkum kung anong nasa sa akin, but as much as possible, I also want to share it to you. No? Okay, so guys, let's now pray. Dear God, thank you for reminding us to ask you for things with the right motive. When we receive what we ask for, please help us to use your gift to serve others and be a blessing to them. Amen and amen. Okay, guys, no? like King Solomon, let's be a blessing for others. 
God bless us all guys because I know God's your best 10 times better. This is again YouTube TV. Kita kita tayo pala tayo sa Paalam!